Let's look at this situation. White has an enclosure here. It's Black's turn. How should Black invade this group? Let's first see how we got here. White high approaches. This is a very popular Joseki. And White makes extension. At this time, usually White should jump here to protect this group. But if White plays elsewhere, then how should Black invade this group? So Black can invade here or here. Let's first look at this play. So White makes diagonal move. Black attaches, pulls back, and clamps. At this time, White should connect this group with this one, and then let Black bridge under, and White jumps to protect this cutting point. So this result, Black gets the territory here, and also White is happy because it, the outside is very strong. So. The other point to invade is here. Now for this move, if white blocks here, then black can connect under. So white is not happy with this result because this whole group has no base. It has to escape to the center while well, black gets the territory here. So. White shouldn't block here. Instead, it should play here. So at this point, black has two moves. One is to make knight move here. The other is here. So l let's look at the first one. If it plays here, if white extend, then black will just separate these two groups. So white connects, then black separate them. So this result is very bad for white. It has two weak groups and it's hard to escape both of them. So this is bad result for white. So we know this move is bad. The other move is here. White slides to connect. Then black will just get the outside. White hanes, black double hanes. White connects, black connects. This result, black is happy. The outside is very strong and thick. So although white is alive too. So the third one is white place here. And also bridges under. Black Ataris. Then try to seal it off. White Ataris. So this result also black gets outside. It's pretty strong. And next move for white, this point is very good. Threatens to cut off these three black stones. So that's the variation for black to make knight move here. Now let's see if black makes knight move here. If white plays this, then black blocks. White turns, black jumps. This result, white is separated into two groups. So it's not good for white. Now if white blocks, then black extends. Again, this result is bad for white. It has two weak groups. So how about this one? For this move, 
black and play here. White blocks here. White extends and white tries to capture this black stone but black won't let it. White turns black harness. Notice if black just pulls back then white can ladder this black stone, this black group. So black has to play tight. and white honeys, black turns. This result also is good for black. This white group and this white group are both under attack. So the correct move for white before making this knight move is to make this exchange. Now it can play here. If black still plays here, black blocks, now white instead of blocking here, it just extends here. Black connects back, white captures this black stone. Now why is this useful? Let's see. If black pushes and cuts, because of this white stone, it can capture this black cutting stone. So that's why this exchange is very useful. So this is the correct play in this situation. Thanks.